Hello my dear students, I welcome you all to the Science Nest YouTube channel. Today in this video I am going to explain you the defects of vision. It is in grade 9 syllabus lesson number 2, eye and ear. Now we will move the lesson. Curvature of the islands should be reduced for a distant object. Normally, when we are looking at a distant object, our island's curvature is reducing like in, like in the picture. The curvature of the islands should be increased for close objects. When we are observing a close object, we can see the curvature of the islands is increasing like this. We are going to see uh, how the focal length is changing with the curvature. Focal length is high in less curvature lenses and the focal length is low in high curvature lenses. Now we will see the ray diagram for an object image formed of far object on the retina of the eye. Uh, far of the light rays that are coming from the far object can be expressed as parallel light beam. So the parallel light beam coming from the far away object are focusing onto the retina like in the picture. Now we will see the ray diagram for an for an image form of close objects on the retina of the eye. Normally the close objects are re representing by a point. So the uh, light rays are coming from the point as a divergent light beam and they get uh, focused onto the retina of the eye. So eye defects can be identified in vision due to the eyeball becoming short or long and inability to adjust the focal length of the eye lens to desired level. The two defects are long sight and short sight. Another name for the long sight is hypermetropia and another name for the short sight is myopia. Now we are going to learn about the long sight of hypermetropia. Uh, if the person is suffering from the long sight, uh, he can see the far objects clearly, but close objects become unclear. That is the way of this defect. Uh, causes of long sight. There are two causes. One is inability to increase the curvature of the eyelids. If the curvature cannot be increased, the uh, light rays that are coming from the nearby object cannot focus clearly, or cannot fo focus uh, well onto the retina. And the next cause is the eyeball being too short. The eyeball being too short. This defect can be corrected by using a convex meniscus lens. Now we will see how the vision of a person suffering from long sight takes place. The person who focuses the rays coming from a distant object onto the retina to form a sharp image so that he can see distant objects clearly. You can see in the picture uh, the light rays, parallel light beam is coming from the far away object and it is properly focusing onto the retina. So if this person is suffering from the long sight, he can see clearly uh, the far away objects. The light rays from a nearby object cannot be brought to focus on the retina to give a distinct image. In this case, the image is formed behind the retina. You can see as in the picture, image is formed behind the retina. You know, uh, this uh, one reason for this disease is eyeball become too short. That is why uh, the light rays are focusing behind the retina. That is one reason. And also, uh, we have discussed another reason, you know, to see the nearby objects, the curvature of the eye lens should be increased. So, this eye lens has no ability to increase the curvature. That is another reason for this defect. Now, we will see how to correct the long side. This defect can be corrected by using a convex meniscus lens. 
the convex meniscus lens receives the light rays and converge them converge them means collect them the eye lens converge the rays again to focus the image at the retina you can see the convex meniscus is converging the light ray and again the eye lens also converging the light ray onto the retina so after wearing the convex meniscus lens we can see the nearby objects clearly if the person is suffering from the long sight and uh, we call this as the convex meniscus lens this is uh, not like normal convex lenses and uh, this name is used meniscus lenses are the lenses used in the spectacles so we call it as convex meniscus lens defect short sight myopia a person sees near the objects clearly while the distant objects appear blurred causes for the defect the inability to reduce the curvature of the eye lens and the eyeball being too long this defect can be corrected by using concave meniscus lens now we will see how the vision of a person suffering from short sight take place the rays coming from close objects can be focused on the retina that is why they can see the uh, nearby objects clearly you can see the light rays coming from the nearby objects are uh, focused onto the retina the rays coming from distant objects are focused in front of the retina so the image of a distant object is formed in front of the retina in front of the retina and cannot be seen clearly uh, this is the parallel light beam coming from the far away object they cannot uh, focused onto the retina they have collected together uh, in front of the retina i told one re reason for this defect is eyeball being too long that is why the light rays have focused in front of the retina another thing is you know to uh, observe the far away objects we have to decrease the curvature of the eye lens so this person cannot decrease the curvature of the eye lens it is one uh, reason for that defect correcting the short sight this defect can be corrected by using concave meniscus lens the rays from the objects are diverged through the concave meniscus lens and eye lens converge them to a point on to the point on red point on retina to make the clear image you can say this is the concave meniscus lens and the light rays coming from far away objects have diverged diverge means spread by the concave meniscus lens and again from the eye lens they have collected or converged onto the retina this is the end of the video thank you for watching subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to watch more videos like this